<laughs> Good evening, ladies, lasses, and lasses. Welcome to the click. You smell <sighs> astounding today. I spent the last week being sick. That was a treat. And during my sickness, I scoured the internet for good cures against the common cold. And the best one I found was stuffing my socks full of garlic. So now all my socks smell like garlic, and it didn't work. Disgusting. But during my sickness and my scouring for a cure, I found some beautiful scientific stuff on the internet. Well, I say scientific, but, but that's a very generous use of the word. By the way, check out all my demons! Oh my god, they finally arrived anyway, so, um, uh, yeah, we're gonna do that. We're gonna look at bonkers science on the internet, and oh boy, is it a treat. Enjoy. Mwah. All right, here we go, baby. This is gonna be absolutely horrible. After doing lots of research today, I never realized just how shaky and inconclusive all the evidence for human evolution is. <laughs> so many blanks we filled in, predicted, and guessed with our own imagination. So many missing links. So many chronological inconsistencies. Like what? You googled for five minutes and you figured out, oh gee, evolution is fake. <laughs> Man, I wish I had just an ounce of this power. I could, like, disprove 200 years of scientific bodies by a couple of Google searches and be like, oh my god, nothing is real. GG's. I just need someone to explain to me why airplanes don't board back to front. Not when you stand up, you press down harder, so you weigh more <laughs> standing up. <laughs> Wait, what? You uh, don't weigh more standing up, but your weight is spread out over a smaller surface area, which applies more pressure. It's true, people weigh more standing up. Okay, okay, I'm gonna go into a couple of different things here. Whiteboard! <laughs> la 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 la, it's time to click Academy with- Oh god, we have a lot of poo-poo here. I'm gonna need like some kind of cloth for this. These are beautiful names, by the way, that helped me donate to the Trevor Project. You're all amazing, thank you. I'm not erasing you because I don't love you. I'm erasing you for science. Welcome to Clack Academy, Click Academy. So today, the question is, do you weigh more by standing up? Well, if you stand up like this, what I'm assuming the person means is that the pressure, which is the area, basically force divided by the area, of course it's gonna be a higher pressure on your feet rather than your stomach, because everyone knows that you usually lay down on your stomach on airplanes. I don't, I don't know what the point here is. But if you want to get really specific about it, you can say that the closer something is to the core, the center of gravity of Earth, the more gravity it's going to have. So technically standing up is going to reduce your gravitational pull on your head. So technically you will weigh more in that sense if you actually lay down. But of course it's, it's like, it's so ridiculously small numbers that no sane person would ever calculate that. So that's why you board airplanes from the back. Because if you lay down on your tummy in the airplane, you weigh like 0.0000000001% more. Great. You can actually think of the length of your body in relation to Earth like an integral. You can actually calculate it like that. But we're not gonna do that because this is absolutely ridiculous. For first grade math, stressed my son out lol literally impossible. A shape with four sides and three corners. <laughs> wait, what? How are you supposed to do- Oh wait, it's an open shape, right? It has to be an open shape. Okay, let's check the comments. Here's a comment. One, one, two, three, four, four, four. Okay, there we go. Like this. Lol, I am lost. It's just an M. So if you count open shapes, it's pretty easy. But, but you know, that's not the first thing a kid will think of, I don't think. So it's a, it's a pretty silly assignment. Young Earth creation. I finally found some credible evidence found in the wilderness. Breaking news. Goliath from the Old Testament and the Bible is found outside Rome. The theory of evolution was wrong. And here's a giant skull that totally isn't Photoshop. Hold on. Hold, hold up. Say, hold up, say. Wasn't Goliath like, I don't know, seven five or something? He's supposed to be a giant, but still human, right? He's just a really tall dude. This skull for this size, he has to be like 30 feet tall. That's not come on now. Come on. I also love the fact that one theoretically big bone would disprove the entirety of evolution. Even if you did find a skull, which would be really cool, don't mind you. What's to say that the skull is Goliath? Maybe it's like an undiscovered species of super Neanderthals, or like super mutants. That'd be kind of cool, though. I would like that. That's how the dinosaurs died out. They got wrestled to death by super Neanderthals. This this sounds like a movie. I made the No, it's this podcast again. Washing my hands. I think when I was in college. What? Was it college for you? I don't know. That's the, that's what I remember because one of my now they're not washing hands. Also doesn't wash her hands. Oh and god. It was like how we had that bonding experience. 
She, one day I was like, you bonded I, I, over not I'm washing just hands. Not gonna wash them. She was like, I'm not either. I don't <laughs> wash my hands. I don't really trust people that wash their hands because Why not? one, I don't think it does anything no. to actually wash. It doesn't. It doesn't do anything to actually wash them. I Germ wash theory them. Oh, number two. They didn't used to wash them back in like the back way back in the day. When yeah, they and they died to to the all the time. House. Nobody washed their hands then, and there was less diseases. There was no less diseases. I told mom to like turn the water on because I'm like I don't uh. think I'm like disgusting. I'll like text. I'll like turn the water on and like take a text break. <laughs> no, and be literally, like, I'm like. Uh -huh. <laughs> When you're at work and someone that you know goes into the cell, you're like, well, I guess I'll fake wash my hands now. We're always in the bathroom with Kate, and I'm always like, we also don't shower. Maybe you can just rub your hands on crystals, I clean them right out. Hell yeah. What do you mean there were, there were less diseases back then? What are you talking about? I mean, total number, maybe. Yeah, but that's because there are more people nowadays, so there are more people that can be sick. But, like, the, the, the number, like, the mortality rates. Like, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Not to mention, like, the germ theory and all that kind of stuff, or when it came out that, you know, they were very ridiculed at first, I believe, but when it turned out that doctors that handled births and stuff, that washed their hands before, had a much lower mortality rate when handling women that were giving birth than people who didn't wash their hands and all that kind of stuff. Like, there, there were so many steps to hold the germ theory coming to light, and there's there's so much evidence and proof of this. It blows my mind. Why are you sitting... Oh, my... I mean, to be fair, they thought the asteroid that wiped out the dinosaurs was the Big Bang. So, I mean, I... I'm not surprised but I'm still disappointed. Let me tell you a story. Recently, I was traversing in the snowy lands and skiing down the highest of mountains, being brave. And when I came home in the evening, I really wanted to watch some Daddy Pascal. I am not obsessed with Daddy Pascal. Please cease. Stop it. Stop. Cease. But to my dismay, HBO wasn't available in mountains. What? So who did I call to get past this absolute travesty? That is right, NordVPN! Woo! Encrypted data streams, high-speed connections, and the ability to connect almost anywhere in the world? NordVPN has you covered. Six units per subscription, isn't that absolutely amazing? You can have six phones, all with NordVPN. Fastest VPN on the market goes like this, woo! That was fast. So if you ever find yourself stuck in a snowy wasteland, Dusty Daddy can give you the comfort you need by bypassing region locks. Oh yes, indeed. Now what are you waiting for? Get... Get four months for free on a two-year plan? Four months for free on a two-year plan at nordvpn.com slash the click with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So don't worry if you're indecisive. You can be like, bada bing, bada boom, no worries. Go get it now, you beautiful bean. You deserve it. Thank you so much, NordVPN, for sponsoring this video. And now, back to the memes. Mwah. Ah, si. Pedrito, mi amorcito. Stop! Stop it. Stop. So anyway. <laughs> Random BS. Curious definition for something that is just in front of your eyes. Cognitive dissonance activated. <laughs> it's barely impossible to debate with an ostrich. I did my best, but hey, keep swallowing everything daddy gov serves you. Oh, ostrich, because you stick your head in the sand. Is that the diss? I think that's the diss. And they think they're thinkers. <laughs> Look at this meme I made. Rocks don't reflect light, neither does the moon. You do realize the fact that the picture you posted of the rock being brighter on one side is literally the rock reflecting light. What do you think it is? You're shining a light on it that then bounces into your eyes. That's why it looks brighter. What do you think? You literally posted a picture of all right, back, back to the whiteboard, baby. So if you have a body of something, say for example, a big floating mysterious circle in the sky, and there's light coming here, the light will bounce down to your little eyeball, so you're standing here down on the earth, right? Look at that, wow, little peepee -pee here as well, that's great. So this side, you can see, because here is where the light bounces off of it, right? The reason you can't see a black hole, for example, is because all the lights get sucked into it. Light is just particles and waves. This is also why, for example, you can hold up at least newer phone cameras to, like, for example, a dark place and let it take a photo for a little while. What it does is actually takes a bunch of photos, which means collecting more light, overlapping them on each other to get a more clear picture of something even though it's dark. This is the same kind of technology that, you know, for example, different space telescopes use, but, of course, to a much more ridiculous scale. It's literally collecting light. That's what it is. Everything that you can see is reflected light. That's how it works. So you're thinking about a mirror, which is very, very reflective, but everything you can see is reflected. God! You can download any Bluetooth app and literally track those that have been vaccinated within a hundred meters from you. They have their own electronic signatures within their system after being injected. I have seen it before. You can then go in deeper and read their vitals and temperature using just a regular Bluetooth app and connecting with their body. 
okay, what Bluetooth app are we talking about here? I would love you to specify, because I think this is a bunch of the poo-poo. A doctor was forging vaccines after an incident. He got a call from the government telling him that they can't connect to the patient. What if they, you think they're just Bluetooth speakers now? Not his cell phone, but him directly. That speaks volumes. Oh, yes, because everyone is a Bluetooth speaker now. God darn. I always love with these people how they're never actually able to specify what app they mean or something. It's always super vague, so you can't double check it, right? One very important part about science is that it should be falsifiable, right? If they were actually interested in proving this, they would provide the app and allow people to do their own experiments to verify that this is the case. The reason they are not doing this is, of course, because it's BS, because it's not uh, repeatable. That You can't falsify it, hence it's not real. Fear post-COVID and some among us are still pushing mask compliance. If you run into one of these poor souls, remind them from the mask person has its root in the masking of African cattle slavery. Jesus Christ, you're comparing, you're comparing like a surgery mask to like, to like old slavery and torture equipment because it looks vaguely similar even though the purpose is wildly different. I mean, God, why didn't you choose to compare it to like masks you put on dogs so they don't like bite themselves when they've like been to the vet, for example? Oh, it's the same as the mask. They put masks on you because you aren't supposed to bite people. That could have been an equal conclusion. I don't get this. It's so selective. What is the greater moral error? Is it atheism or racism? And through the power of democracy, we concluded atheism. <laughs> Atheism actually makes racism logical per evolutionary theory. Atheism actually makes- What on earth are you talking about, good sir? Did you accidentally poop out your brain today? Please go pick it up in the toilet. I'm sure it's not worse than what it used to be. So special. Water is a portal. Have you ever noticed that you have the best ideas and downloads when you're in the bath or shower? What do you mean downloads? Like spiritual stuff? I'm assuming you don't mean app updates. Water holds information. The water of our planet has been programmed with all that knowledge, love, and understanding we seek. Water allows your consciousness to travel to other dimensions easily. It allows your guides to communicate with you. Water is the most overlooked tool for spiritual advancement in our current time. I'm gonna be honest. If you're sitting in your bathtub at home doing acid, which is what this sounds like, I'm pretty sure it's just the acid. It's not that your bathtub is magical. I'm... Just gonna put that out there. Perhaps, but atheism also deludes people. Quantum mechanics disprove atheism. Emma. What does that mean? In my honest opinion. Is that what it means? Jesus Christ. Anyone who looks into the double slit experiment, for instance, and still think atheism is the truth is deluded. I like also how non-specified it is. Ah, oh, this word salad here that I learned on the internet yesterday, that disproves everything. And if you're not smart enough to realize that sucks to be you, I'm not gonna explain it. Gravity is also a theory, and nothing changes the undeniable fact that you are a great ape like every other human. <laughs> nice. Nope, didn't come from an ape. God said let's make man in our image. God isn't a uh, ape. Ah, oh, God also can't do grammar, apparently. Got a problem with that? Take it up with God. Boom. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Grandma, get off Twitter. That doesn't exist in the Cambridge explosion. <laughs> Cambridge explosion? <laughs> We didn't come from a cesspool. <laughs> Maybe God's big substance. What the? <laughs> Isn't it called Cambrian explosion? What Cambridge explosion? <laughs> oh, this is too good. These people can't be real. Please tell me this is aliens. It's aliens. That's my new favorite conspiracy. All the whack jobs you see on social media are aliens trying to probe our social standards. That's that's all it is. Okay, it's fine. It's just aliens. You are right. Creationists like to deal in numbers that are realistic. What do you mean realistic? Not numbers that you put so far out there, there's no way anybody could better them or deny them. Because 2.5 billion years ago, it's totally impossible for anybody to accurately comprehend that far back. Wait, are you telling me that the Earth can't be more than a few thousand years old because you don't understand big numbers? Is that, <laughs> Is that the argument here? Number too big, me no comprehend. Biggest number be 6,000. Yeah, it doesn't go higher than that. Try to count above 6,000. It doesn't work. It doesn't exist. At first health, has my six-year-old broken ankle sitting in the cold outside because I refuse to allow them to force him to wear their racist, godless masks. They're still playing mask games, pretending they mean something, using them for social enforcement. End this now. I mean, hospitals are typically a place where sick people has a high chance of converging, you know? So wearing things that reduce spread of things is probably a good idea. You know, doctors wear protective gear all the time. I think it's for good reason. And I like how the solution to this is, I'm gonna let my child sit outside in the cold 
to prove a point to Facebook? You're not a good parent. Evolution entails gullibility, ignorance, and pure stupidity. <laughs> to believe that great apes pooped, poop emoji, out people 4.6 billion years ago. Should we explain the, the, the bees and the flowers first, that babies aren't made from poo? No? And then turned into regular monkeys while people stayed people and didn't poop out anything but poo. Ah oh, yes indeed, if your poo doesn't turn into babies, that means evolution is fake. That is evolution to me. Evolpupsian explained. God, this is so stupid. This is so incredibly stupid. Holy crap, I can't believe. What is it with- This is just Dunning-Kruger effect, isn't it? People that are, don't know Jack Poo and they're so confident about it. it. Blows my mind. Did you know? I once had someone tell me they were immune to the Dunning-Kruger effect because they had an IQ of 130. They literally Dunning-Krugered the Dunning-Kruger effect. It was absolutely amazing to see. The question is great. Suppressed emotions and trauma result in crystals within the body, calcium crystals. And then we release these emotions, we cry. Your tears are calcium crystals, okay. Our tears look like crystals. The what? The calcium crystals dissolve as we release. Is it possible our tears contain the memories of our emotions slash trauma? Well, it's more of a symptom of probably emotions and that kind of stuff in your body, but that doesn't mean it's like literally emotions stored in a crystal. I don't understand the obsession with like making everything so literal. It's a little weird. Men still can't explain the stars, moon, earth, or sun. Huh? Have you asked an astrophysicist? Boom. <laughs> What do you mean? You just made the claim. Just like, ah, oh, we still don't know how stars work. It's like, what? What What do you mean? No, we don't. Nope. We just don't know how they work. 15% of the planet has racist negative blood, meaning they can in no way have evolved from apes. The other 85% of us at some time historically infected with <laughs> ape blood. <laughs> Think about that percentage again. Re genetic changes from COVID jab. They have done this before. What are you? So the COVID jab is monkey blood now? Is that is that the conclusion? I don't understand what they mean. Is that is that what they mean? Vaccines are unsafe, and there is no getting around that fact. My white cousin was vaccinated, and she grew up and married a black man. It is not <laughs> natural. Wait, what? You started talking about vaccines, and now you're going on a weird side tangent about, like, interracial dating. This- <laughs> yikes. Vaccines have aborted babies in them, and they cause transgenderism, homosexuality, autism, exhibit allergies. <laughs> I just imagine, like, a little vaccine needle, and the liquid inside is, like, just rainbow color. It's like, oh, no, it's the gay vaccine. No. Come here, little Timmy. I'm gonna give you a jab. Totally won't turn you gay. <laughs> or will it? Scholastic and everyone who ever bought this book, whoever wrote it, should be ashamed as doctors who push vaccines and parents who inject their kids. I would rather put my baby get measles or chicken pox, which are both harmless childhood illness, than R-worded or killed or become a F-slur or be attracted to N-words. Holy crap, lady. Oh my god. To me, it sounds like this person has some really weird, deeply buried prejudice against, well, basically everything. And then they're trying to justify it by saying it's a conspiracy and the va evil vaccine has created these things that you're prejudiced about. So you're actually just hating Big Daddy government and their conspiracy stuff. You're not actually racist, sexist and homophobic and every other bad word in the book, apparently. That's a really weird way of excusing your, like, heavy, horrible bias. <laughs> Dinosaurs is a relatively young word that, if I recall correctly, started to gain use in the 1800s. Before that, they called them by their biblical name, dragons. Oh, I would love a T-Rex with wings that spews fire. Some of the bones displayed are real, but other are known forgeries. Yeah, well, it's usually not referred to as forgeries. You know, they make molds of the bones they find to reconstruct them and put them in public places and that kind of thing. You know, and also fill in like cracks and gaps and repair them because bones that you dig up from the ground are very brittle and very valuable and very rare. So typically if you put a display piece, it's not the real thing, it's a mold. It's not like a forgery, it's a known mold. The land dragons were killed out a couple of thousand years ago, maybe still hidden somewhere, but ocean dragons still exist. I pull this stuff right out of my butt. What? You think that is poo-poo? 
No, it just happened to come from my butt, but it is pure facts. Haley's comment equals light shining into waters above. Look at that, a common tale vaguely looks like a specific photo of light in water. If Haley's comet is blasting through space at this fast speed, and the sun and stars are orbiting the Milky Way at this speed, why don't they have tails too? Well, it's all, it's all relative, I, I guess. Like the atmosphere that is around the Earth, for example, is moving at the same speed as the Earth. That's why it's not just staying behind, you know? It's because it's a constant speed, and speed is also relative. If you had a vast acceleration, then maybe things would start falling off, which is very different. But, uh, no, it's not. Oh, God. And also, you know, the, the size of things and gravitational pull is, of course, also an aspect. But this is such a weird gotcha moment. I still don't understand what water has to do with it. <laughs> it's so random. Them. A Branson, what a question. Yes, we know from the days God gives us in the Bible that he did create a whole universe about 6,000 years ago. When we hear the term lychee, we need to realize it is not a measure of time, but a measure of distance. Well, yeah, that is actually correct. Telling us how far away something is. Distant stars and galaxies might be millions of light years away, but that doesn't mean it took millions of years for the light to get here. Ah, uh, that's literally what it means, though. That's what a light year is. It just means it's really far away! <laughs> well, it is really far away, but you wouldn't see the thing if the light hadn't traveled back. That's the whole principle. To see something, there needs to be light reflected from that piece or emitted from the piece, you know, from, from the beginning, and then you see that light. That is how it works, and that's what a light year is. So, so I don't know, it's like, it's like you get it half right, but then you ignore the part that makes it the case. It's a really weird conclusion. Either there is a curve in the way or Chicago is sinking. <laughs> Debunking Earth Curve, 60 miles from Indiana State Park to the Chicago skyline. Look at that. 20,000 feet of missing ball Earth curvature, surface of water level. Okay, so they made the calculation, but this is like elementary grade school stuff, basic geometry. It doesn't account for so many other things, not to mention that you can't actually see all of Chicago, so either it's sinking or there's something in the way. But also, this is not accurate because you have different air densities and like coldness and that kind of stuff and light moving in different ways. Like, it's not, it's not a perfect isolate experiment. That's one thing you learn just in school at a pretty early point, that you isolate certain parts of experiments and calculations to make them easier while people are learning. And this is just that. You're not accounting for everything that actually occurs in reality. This is exactly what I say when people think astrology is some bogus stuff. <laughs> when you keep a strong magnet near a mobile phone, you'll see it acting up in everything in space, including us and Earth, made with electromagnetic field. It is stupidity to say that the planet larger than Earth have no impact on Earth or organism living on it. No, it's too far away. It's like, oh my god. Science has proven that Jupiter's electromagnetic field protects Earth from asteroids. But still, astrology bogus. How dumb can we be? But those are completely different things, though. If Jupiter sucks in asteroids, that are close to Jupiter that would later travel to Earth, that is one thing. The asteroids are actually in Jupiter's gravitational pull. But Jupiter is so far away from Earth that it doesn't affect us directly. Like, you can literally make a really simple calculation of this. Like, I don't understand why this is even an argument. And even if you want to make this argument, right, the most that would happen is that, oh my god, Jupiter pull asteroids, and Jupiter also pulls very, very slightly on us, I guess. Technically, it's like the biggest thing that would happen is that, oh my god, there is this very, very, very slight, minuscule pole that you could actually ignore from another celestial body. It's like, why why would that like affect your personality traits and luck and like the tall, dark stranger you meet in an alleyway? It doesn't! A return to astrological religion, moon goddess, sun god, alchemical secrets, light, fertility cycles, feminine power, physics, the photon and gravity. How can these possibly be related in every way? Click here to read now in my free ebook. Photogravity.com, free book. Pass. Quantum science, aka spirituality. <laughs> Fun fact, since the Pleiades cluster is only 1.5 times 10 to the power of 10, 8 years old, any hypothetical life forms in it are highly unlikely to have left the microbial stage. Wacky, right? What? 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 Are, what are, this is just all over the place, man. Mobile phones. Please turn these devices off completely before entering the church. Not simply placed in silent airplane or standby mode. We have friends in the choir and audience who are seriously affected by the radiation emitted by mobiles in such an enclosed environment. Sincere thanks. What do you, what do you actually think radiation is? Would it, you, you could literally measure this if, if you wanted to. But <laughs> God. Ah, maybe it's the Bluetooth vaccines. That's probably it. Oh, yes, indeed.
A ball always has two sides, the side you see and the side you do not see. So why does the Google Earth ball have three sides? Maybe it's because the globe does not exist, because if it really existed, it would be very simple to make an accurate representation. And it, yes, indeed, look at this. I proved the Earth isn't real. Let me erase some other science. So welcome class. Here is Earth. Earth. Very beautiful, Earth. And if, if you do this, it has one side and two sides. That's how we know that the Earth is real, but it has three sides. It has, uh, it's not real. It's not real. Uh, I, uh. <laughs> this reminds me of like a radio show in Sweden where there is a essay that a small child has written sent in to this radio station about a cow. And it says, a cow has seven sides. The front side, the back side, the left side, the right side, the upper side, the down side, and the inner side. It like, this is what that, it, God, it's exactly the same. COVID vaccinated health. We tried to warn you, but you wouldn't listen. Pure bloods. Yeah, this aged really poorly, didn't it? Like now three years into it. <laughs> I love reading comics like this a couple years later and be like, yeah, of course it's bonkers. If the earth was a globe, water flows to the lowest point. Oh my God. Holy, sh I love this. I love this so much. Oh my God. Okay, let's tear this to pieces, shall we? All right, everyone. Here is earth. And the reason why water isn't like this, here, here is an ocean at the bottom of the earth. The problem with this, of course, is that what tells you what is up and down? There isn't an up and down because everything is relative. If you're standing here on the earth, down is going to be here. If you're standing here on the earth, down is going to be here. And you're also Australian, pet to kangaroo for me. And why is this the case? Because the center of gravity is here, which means that all the water will be pushed like this. And also the atmosphere and everything else. The only reason why you think this thing is a reasonable experiment is because you're holding like a basketball and being like, oh my god, the water drips off it. This proves the earth isn't round. But the problem is it's dripping down because the earth is underneath you. That's what's dragging the water. It's not an isolated experiment. Just like your brain is a bit isolated. This is absolutely beautiful. How come I can't get cell phone service here, but NASA can play with remote control cars on Mars? Well, you see, I would guess that it's because there is a slight difference in, in the reception and like the purpose of the device being a small, like carried pocket thing versus like, I don't know, a billion dollar project of sending a literal robot to another planet. I would imagine slightly different technology that with slightly different power is involved. Many more too. Celery equals bones. <laughs> Wait, what? Walnut is a brain, so it's good for your brain. Carrot looks like eyes, so it's good for your eyes. I cut it in a very specific way. I mean, raw carrots don't look like this, but if I cut it in a specific way, it looks like an eyeball, and therefore it's good for your eyes. Same thing with tomato. Cut it on specifically this way and looks like a heart. So eat tomatoes and you'll have a heart. Citrus are good for boobs. Ginger is good for the tummy. Sweet potatoes is pancreas. <laughs> kidney beans? For the kidney, obviously, it's in the name. Duh. And avocado is for the uterus because it has a little seed that is like a little baby. I hate this with a passion because the truth is that all these things obviously contain good stuff. Like, G, vitamins are good for your body. But it's such a stupid way of saying it. It's like, oh my god, a carrot vaguely looks like an eyeball. So if you eat carrots, you'll grow more eyeballs. I don't know. What's... Why? Why? Why do, you, why do you make this? Shadows prove the table is curved and the lamp is 93 million miles away. Don't argue with the science. I see that uh, the discussion about scale is apparently very difficult. It's like, oh gee, a lamp one meter above my desk is the same as, as a literal light source up in the sky that's a million times the size of Earth. That's, uh, no. Scientists have found the fossils of fish on the peaks of the Himalay <laughs> Himalayan mountains. A fact which contributes to the theory that the entire Earth was once completely covered in water. Is this an argument for like, no, I get the boat? Whispers to myself. <laughs> Plate tectonics. <laughs> no, it's Noah. And they didn't like fish, so they died in water. They drowned. Four biggest lies ever told. Big Bang Universe, Evolution, Gravity, and the Globe at Flat World Logic. <laughs> Wait, you're not even making an argument anymore. You just, you just made a meme like, all of this is fake. I'm not gonna explain why, but my meme is there, 
And that's all the proof y'all need. Sun, Mercury, Venus, Earth, night. Okay, that makes sense, I guess. We should never see Venus and Mercury at night. Let that sink in. Oh! Oh, wait, is the argument that, like, at night we're on the wrong side of the globe and Mercury is also always behind Venus? You do realize this is a hyper-simplified drawing that, like, turns the whole solar system into 2D, you know? You know planets, like, do this, right? They're, like, in different places and they circle and that kind of stuff. They, they're not, like, locked in place, like, in this picture. But... It, <laughs> what? It's a drawing made so fifth graders can grasp planets. It's not like a 3D model. Melbourne is closer to Antarctica than it is to Darwin. That is... Ooh, that's pretty cool. Not if you use miles instead of kilometers, but point taken. boy. Wow. Scientists hope to use 10 eggs harvested from the last two northern white rhinos to create viable embryos that will be transferred into surrogates. Richard has something to say about this. Rhinos don't even lay eggs, and these same scientists tell us 5G is safe, whatever. <laughs> Rhinos aren't ducks, and therefore 5G is dangerous. But you realize when they're talking about eggs, they're not talking about like a literal carton of eggs you buy in this. They're talking, okay, you know, you know what? Never mind. You go, Richard. Atta boy. There, there. Make sure to bring, br give your brain a little massage after this. It's probably, it's worked very hard. Same-sex marriage just won't fly. Look at this. Man, woman, and it flies. And man, man, gay marriage. Oh my god. People are just like airplane wings. <laughs> That's... Wow. You thought the best analogy for humans, you know, complex, intelligent beings with social lives and stuff, was airplane wings? What? I mean, if you want to do that argument, I could literally just do it, but different. It's like, oh, one wing is a man, one wing is a woman. But women are an average smaller than men. So the plane won't be able to fly because one wing is larger than the other. But on the other hand, you have two men. And then the wings are the same size and the plane is balanced. You see, you can make this argument one way or another because it's not a good argument. If we die, we're taking you with us. If the bee disappears from the surface of the earth, man would have no more than four years to live, Albert Einstein. I mean, to be fair, bees are very important for the ecosystem, but I don't think this is an Albert Einstein quote. <laughs> NASA released a stunning 4K video of Apollo 13 views of the moon, ending all conspiracy theories. I mean, they made dinosaurs in Jurassic Park 2 in 4K? Doesn't mean they filmed it live. God will prevail to this evil agenda. We are not some dust flying through space at millions of miles per hour that just spontaneously became a living being. Go ahead, uh, and they are applied pilots if they adjust their flight route for nose down every few minutes, no? Oh, that was, uh, oh. Sorry, I'm allergic to BS. Your angelic DNA is activating now, and your body will feel sore. Ground to crystal core, nature, age 2... 20? Age 20, magnesium. 144,000 have no distractions this week in Anchor Light. Your soul is ready to bring forth light within your body for humanity and planetary liberation. Here we go! <laughs> Jesus Christ, humanity's f***ed, isn't it? Try this to see if you're on a spinning ball flying through space. LOL. Stand up and lean your head back and place three drops of eye water in each eye. Was this possible? Welcome to Flat Earth, you've always been here. You know, I can very easily make the same experiment for a different thing. Stand on a train and toss a ball like this. Or, or for sake of argument, the pen I already have here. Wow, you can do this on a train, right? That, mean that, that means the train isn't moving, according to your experiment. The truth, of course, is that we're both already moving at the same speed. Like, if I'm currently sitting on train, uh, hypothetically, and I toss this thing, me and this thing are already moving in the direction of the train when I toss it. So, you know, unless I do it on the roof where there's air resistance and this loses contact with the train that is accelerating it, then we'll fly backwards because air resistance. But if you're in the train without air resistance, much like you inside the atmosphere, you know, uh, yay! You both have the same speed in that direction. God, it's so... You... 
this this whole experiment you can just prove it with a train. I actually have a better one. Please, please no, please. My brain is already melting. Get a plumb bob and hang it from the ceiling next to where you sit so you can watch it for months if you're stubborn. Place a quarter of an inch from the floor and a piece of tape with an X right on the plumb bomb. With no wind, there'll be no movement ever. I would love to see these people do this on the train and try to explain that the train isn't moving. Do people really still believe the Earth is a globe? Oh my god. These people, man, they're, do they're doing like fifth grade experiments and they're not even getting a conclusion right. And then they're trying to disprove the whole body of science with it. That's astounding. <laughs> Yes, there's people that believe Biden won 2020 election and they play on getting a booster every six months and wear a mask, lol. Just whatever the TV people say they do. Oh, now it's also anti-vax, not even flat earth. Well, gee whiz, I am a lucky boy. That's a scary thought. How can people be so ignorant or naive? I just don't get it. You literally, literally try to prove a train doesn't move. God, is, oh my God. Oh my, oh, <laughs> oh, how are we the dominant species on this planet? Blows my mind. Pseudoscience versus actual science. You see, if you pour water, it's gonna go down here, but according to round earth, it sticks to the globe. You see, I made a drawing of pouring water on like a basketball, and I prove the earth is flat. Okay, lady, you see the problem here with your isolated experiment is that you still have gravity pulling down because you're still on top of the goddamn earth so this isn't comparable your freaking balloon you're pouring water on doesn't have a gravitational pull comparable to the earth <sighs> thank you moving on evolution is a lie god created this world breathing life into a full-grown human name adam if someone thinks creation is a lie they won't believe in god or find salvation the first evolved baby couldn't raise itself without the help of any existing adult checkmate this is like did the hen or the egg come first kind of argument, but even more stupid. And also, those are the two genders. It's man and rib. Ah, <laughs> uh, rib, my favorite gender. You do realize that when things evolve, they don't just pop out of nowhere, right? It's a very slow, gradual process. I think what these people don't grasp is that individuals don't evolve. Populations evolve over very gradual long spans of time. You can see this all over the earth in all kinds of examples. It's very fascinating. If you get off Facebook. This is why we don't want experts anymore. Just naysayers looking to extend their so-called research grants. Just build a long big spaceship and send it. It's not rocket science. <laughs> Rockets are not rocket science. Duh. Dolphins were once these loathsome land-dwelling monsters. God told Noah to leave them off the ark, but then Satan granted them the ability to survive in the oceans as an insult to God. And now all dolphins are indebted to the devil and do his bidding, and they enjoy it. Look at that sick creature. Looks looks pretty cute, yo. I would, I would have that as a pet. It's almost a land shark, but <laughs> is that the argument? Dolphins are satanic because... because what? <laughs> Science and the state must be separate. Please, no. You have probably caught being gay from an early childhood vaccine. Vaccines are loaded with embryonic stem cells. Vaccine with made from male cells given to baby girls. Female cells given to baby boys. They're destroying us from birth. Uh, no, not the gay vaccine. Oh, no, I was vaccinated against the straightness. Oh, oh, no. Wisdom teeth? Wisdom teeth grow in sideways and straighten out over time. Not like you, with your gay vaccine, anyway. The pain is deliberate to rewire your brain and open new pathways. Your god truly was an intelligent creator. The adrenaline from the pain was a hidden gift. These four wisdom teeth also wire directly to your heart and pineal gland. That sounds awful. They are called wisdom teeth for a reason, and this is why they're eager to pull them, to rob you of your power and to true potential. Well, if this was true, you could achieve the same wisdom by just stabbing yourself in the foot with a pen. You know, th wh why specifically teeth? All of my core beliefs are at the odds with the science consensus on literally everything. <laughs> How could all those scientists be so, so wrong? It's like that old saying, if you meet one butthole during the day, they are most likely the butthole. If everyone you meet is a butthole, you might be the butthole. The same goes for this, like, idioticism. If everyone you meet is an idiot and, and everything they say is wrong, maybe you're the one who's wrong. So here's a globe at Walmart, and globes are not meant for educational purpose, only decorative. <gasps> not meant for educational purposes? And there you have it. Stop lying to your children and yourself. Yes, indeed. Walmart says the earth is flat. <laughs> well, not really. I'm just assuming, like, it's a, it's a decorative globe, and, you know, it, maybe it's not accurate, or maybe it's an old-fashioned one. You know, it could be many reasons, but... <sighs> Walmart is, isn't the leading consensus 
on the shape of the earth. Just gonna put it out there. Why baby carrots are killing you? Manufactured baby carrots are a result of taking all the broken and ugly big carrots they can't put in the package, grinding them all up, processing them into their baby carrots and giving them a bath in chlorine to give them bright, happy orange color. Yes, indeed. Baby carrots are, are cut sometimes. That means poison. My daughter's science experiment. The plants hear her voice recorded on a loop. The one on the far left hears negative, mean comments, and the one on the far right hears positive, loving comments. My goal this year is to speak life with Blorp. Okay, so we have three pots of plants here. The one on the left is allegedly saying mean things to the plant. The one in the middle is the control group, because it doesn't have a speaker. And the one on the right has the positive stuff, and that one is the biggest. Well, there could be multiple reasons for this. Number one... It's a sample size of one, which means that the seed could simply be faulty. Not all seeds grow, so having a sample size more than one is usually a good thing in statistics. I will commend you for actually having a controlled group, though. That's pretty good. Also, number three, uh, which I'm gonna point out here, is that it's very odd that they grow in the order, like left to right, which leads me to believe that the right side is probably more sunny, and the plant is gonna grow more. On top of the fact that the seeds might simply be faulty, or the dirt is too sour, or, you know, whatever it might be. It's a sample size of one. So, like, uh, the control group thing, you get one point for that, but you need a much, much larger group to prove anything. Like, this can be chalked up to complete randomness. Drinking water from a copper cup helps kill bacteria, stimulate the brain, regulate the functioning of thyroid glands, soothe anthritis pain, boost skin health, slow down aging, improve digestion, get rid of anema, and lower the risk of cancer and heart disease. Was this made by like a Moscow mule company? Did they buy stock in Moscow mules? <laughs> and then they made this? <laughs> Satellites are dead just like the fake globe. I witnessed the most mysterious thing ever. Plane flying through the sun. Do you mean that it flew in front of the sun and you couldn't see it because you were like, you know, kind of blinded by the sun? No? Cleansing your crystals, burying salt, other crystals, energy burying ground, smoke smudging, visualization, loud sound. Ah! That's clean. Under running water, pendulum, under moonlight. Mmm. Study for the relevant degree? Yuck! Ask experts. Oh, look at that freaking beta scientist bullshit. Read a lot of well-researched and reliable articles. Yuck, boring poo! Read the title of a Facebook article that agrees with your opinion, big brain poo! Woo! Recently discovered dinosaur mummy is so well preserved it even has the skin and g something. That is really cool, look at that. Wow, is that an Ankylosaurus? That is really cool. Oh, definitely not millions and millions of years old. If it was, then it would have been totally perished. Our creator, God, created 4,000 years ago. The dinosaur would have died in Noah's flood 3,500 years ago. <laughs> I would rather believe the recorded account of God's creation than the senseless man-made idea of a big bang. <laughs> I... Uh, Ah, I will cry myself to sleep at night. Why are all the science winners Christian? That's what I want to know now. Uh, juice, hold my beer. Every university in America is Christmas. Dumbass, I have no idea what you even mean. I would change fields of I were you. Yes, indeed, I hate those Christmas universities. They're so biased. Ah. Oh. When a math teacher doesn't want to hurt the feelings of a student on announcing the math results. Square root of 49 out of 50. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> That's so sad. No. One? It's literally one? Oh, God. Well, I guess it worked, right? Because, because now the student that doesn't know math is going to think it's almost a perfect score. Good Lord, it's not a seven. It's a division symbol, something or another. The question is how many 49 goes into 50? And it's one. It also remained a one. The answer is one. 40. What happened to decimals? Like, even if this is the case, what on earth? It's division, I'm thinking it might be UK Gen X thing, lol, and the joke is the student only scored one. Oh, God, no, it's not, oh. So when you get a test that says 100 out of 100, it means you only got one point and you failed. That's what you mean? Jesus Christ. Ah, the delicious irony of there being very limited mathematical knowledge in a group based on mathematics. It's division. 20 divided by 5 is 4. Or in this case, 50 divided by 49 is 1. Remainder 1, this is primary school math. But what happened to the... The root sign, that was the whole joke! God! Is it weird to still be nursing my 54 month old? They're almost 55 months old if that makes a difference, when should I stop? Uh, why are you still counting age in months? What? What is that? 54 divided by 12. They're four and a half years old! Okay, why are you still nursing a four and a half year old? And why are you still referring to them by months? Uh, my son, he's 300 months old. It, he's such a little cutie. 
via Laris Lazos and Lazos. I hope you lost as many brain cells as I did during this beautiful, beautiful video. And remember, Mango comes back the 30th of March. Yes, indeed, absolute beautiful bean. Look at it. Oh, just squeeze it. It's going to be absolutely glorious. Don't miss out, you amazing bean. And other than that, I hope you have an amazing rest of your day, and I will see you in the very next video. Take care. Mwah.